Hi, welcome to The Outlook. I'm called Rebecca and I'm your host. Today we're going to talk about local council courts and how we can best utilize them. Oftentimes at the grassroots level, we're faced with conflict and we don't have the money or the resources to go all the way to the highest courts. So we're here to learn about how to utilize these courts at the grassroots level. Thank you for joining us. We're joined by our friends and our partners, Barefoot Law. Penny Igaga is here to help us to understand better about how to use local council courts. Thank you for joining us, Penny. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for having us once again. Yes. And as usual, we are honored to be here. It's our pleasure to host you. Yes. Um, please help us to understand what are local council courts. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, to begin with, local council courts are a brainchild of the constitution of Uganda. There was uh, a need for decentralization. And I'll explain what that is. There was a need for decentralization. There was a need to um, break down on the bureaucracy when it came to access to any justice or in the event that you had a concern and you may not be in a position to go to our traditional courts. Um, those being the magistrate courts, high court, so there was a need to have a lower unit yes. where people could be able to get the help that they deserve. Yes. And that is where the local council courts came into play. So um, the 1995 constitution emphasized them and they are manned by the chief magistrate court on behalf of the high court. I see. Yes. That's interesting. So they are at the lowest level. Yes, they are at the lowest level. The reason for that is that um, it is assumed that governance always starts from the bottom yes, sure. and that's why you'll find that the local council courts are popular in the villages, mm -hmm. at the sub-county level, yes. at the parish level yes. and hence I guess the name local because it has to do with um, the indigenous communities that yes. we originally come from. Yes. So most times you'll find that local council courts are within the villages where we come from, not sure. necessarily here in Kampala. Penny. Um, who sits at the local council court? Mm -hmm. Okay, at the local council courts, definitely um, one has to be someone from the area or from the jurisdiction of that particular local council. Mm -hmm. And it's very important because a lot of these matters have to be handled by a person or people who actually know the issues of the people within that um, area and what may greatly affect them. Sure. So we have the local council courts in the villages now there are all the executive members of the committee are in that um, local council court and they're the ones who are in charge of receiving any claims or complaints that may come into the local council court now when it comes to the town level sub-county level there is an executive committee that appoints five members who sit on that local council court and receive the claims or the complaints that may come in now of the five on that committee, two have to be women. And the reason for that is that, of course, with a lot of um, increasing uh, concerns that may need to be addressed at the local council courts, uh, there has to be a female touch, if I can put it that way, sure. when it comes to the handling of some of these concerns that come in. Yes. Secondly, um, local council courts also handle a lot of children matters yes. and of course there has to be that nurturing uh, effect when it comes to handling some of these concerns that may come in involving children yes. now it's important to note that um, children matters are very sensitive and so and there has to be a lot of involvement and you'll find that um, a woman representative within that locality maybe yes. someone who will be appointed to be on that committee if you could just help us to understand what kind of cases are mm -hmm. heard by local council courts. Okay. Um, first things first, I will begin with the ones that local council courts should not handle. Yeah. <laughs> so that we can just put that aside. That aside yeah. Now, they should not handle criminal matters. Okay. And I'm going to specify some of the criminal matters that are usually taken there that shouldn't be. You'll find um, in an area, that is why initially I had mentioned that um, children 
are usually children matters are usually handled at the local council court mm. but unfortunately some of the criminal instances that are handled at the local council courts are cases of defilement and you'll find that they will um, sit down with both sides of, of, of the of the situation and they will negotiate on how much should be paid as compensation because maybe your child has been defiled. So we need to put an emphasis on the yeah. fact that criminal matters should not should be handled by the local council courts. Yeah. The first point of contact should be the police. Yes. You go to the police and you write a statement mm -hmm. stating what happened and then there on your matter will be um, taken to court. Yes. And these courts have the mandate to handle some of these matters, not yes. the local council courts. Yes. And we're talking about the chief magistrate courts and you yes. know the high courts and beyond. Yes. So um, when it comes to those that the local council courts can handle, yes. they are civil matters. Okay. Civil matters of all kinds. You'll find there's um, instances of land, someone has encroached on your land, someone um, has Dis disrupt has damaged your property yes. somebody has entered your property and maybe taken something away and you want them to you know to pay back as opposed to arresting them you ask them you tell them to pay back or compensate you for whatever damage that they had done on your property sure. you know s such such cases are those are the ones that are handled by the civil courts sorry the yeah. local council courts so yes, they, they have to be strictly Civil in nature. Civil in nature, yes. yes. Because point of emphasis is that criminal is handled by the police. Okay. Yes. Um, and um, I know that their processes are quite technical. Mm. Um, is there a way you could uh, help us to understand mm. the procedural requirements mm. uh, that one needs at the local council? Mm. Okay. Um, I had mentioned, I'll start off with, before I actually go into the real process yeah. of what happened, you know, put whatever um, information you may take to the local council yes. courts. When this local council court is uh, constituted, the members in that court have to be people, like I mentioned, of that area. Why is that important? Because the language used during these proceedings are usually the language of the common language that is understood oh, by many area. by many people over there. Okay. And in the event that um, one of the parties doesn't understand the language, there's a need for the court to provide an interpreter. Why is this so? Both parties need to understand the proceedings of that court. And so it would not make sense for you to have one party understanding and the other, part, the other party not understanding what is going on. And um, even the committee that sits in before it is, uh, before they, they constitute that committee, the local council court, these are people who are of uh, right standing in society. And it is expected that the decisions that they will give will be those that are independent and those that will ensure that both parties do not even live more disgruntled than they came. Yes. So you, you find that um, the decisions that are made are usually unanimous decision where all the members agree that you know what this is right or it will have to be a majority vote. Majority. So majority, that's how the decisions are made. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're bringing a claim to the local council courts, you bring it in form of a statement of claim. Okay. We call it a statement of claim. Now this can be done um, orally okay. or in writing. Where it is orally made, um, the secretary, because there has to be a secretary on that um, local council committee, the secretary takes down everything that, because some people, I think that, and that, that just explains to you how Simple, simple these processes friendly, are supposed yeah. to be unfriendly because yeah. there are some people who can't who write can't read. and who cannot read but sure. they may still be aggrieved so when they come in you can bring it orally or in writing once it is done orally the secretary writes down everything and but then these minutes can be even in the local language of um, the area. of the area yeah. but later on these minutes have to be translated into English okay. now the statement of claim has to have the name of the person who is claiming and um, any other information to identify them, the claim that they have, the value of the claim, um, how, how, they, how they would want to be compensated or assisted, but basically, because you know, generally you have to go to court and say this is what happened and yes. we need um, 
we need this is the kind of remedy that i need that will take me back to the position where i am happy so once that is done um of course the other party will have to also be given an opportunity to to respond yes. just like in the normal court yes. proceedings yes. then they will give their side especially if maybe this is just an oral sitting they will give them a chance to talk or if it is in writing the other person will be given time to respond yes. and either it, it may be done then or may be done um, a few days later so they can give them time so that they respond. can give them time to respond yeah. that usually is done but usually the oral is where they just try to handle everything once okay. now once that happens um, of course the committee the local council courts mm -hmm. will sit listen to both sides just like in normal court and then after that we'll go ahead to give an independent um, judgment mm -hmm. now just like even in the normal in the, these higher courts if they ask you in this case the defendant yes. or the person whom they are claiming against if they ask you to respond and you do not they can decide to make that decision without you because you've been given that opportunity too but you still haven't come in to defend yourself or to help the courts understand um, your side of the story yes, yes please. so, so like expert exactly so eventually the judgment is given and um, of course orders are also given by the um, by the courts okay. and the person who who's in who's um, the person who who wins <laughs> if i can put yes. it that way yeah. you end up um, having court also making sure that the other person actually does what court has asked them to do execution yes mm -hmm. yes okay mm -hmm. and um there is you know there are some other technical terms that we have in law mm -hmm. i don't know if you can talk about things to do with um appellate okay mm -hmm. if you're not comfortable with oh okay what the court has decided where do you go then mm -hmm. yes exactly okay so before that maybe i could give some of the orders that may be given okay. by court in mm -hmm. your judgment mm -hmm. court may actually ask the person whom they are claiming against because you know some some of these cases that are actually taken there yeah. may just need um, you to apologize yeah. to me so those, that's, that's actually cool. one of the orders yes. that is given yes. apology yes. Um, uh, you replacing the thing that you spoiled you may be exchanging and giving something um, to replace the thing that you spoiled um, yes, yes community service also is there oh, okay exactly yes. like I told you some of these these courts are in the villages yes. at the sub county level parish you may do community service you you know those those kinds of um orders yes. now if you're not comfortable mm. with that you the person whom they've told you have 14 days yeah. to appeal now it may be to that particular court mm. but if you feel that that court was biased you can take it to a higher, a higher court. court yes because these other higher courts have have um what we call appellate jurisdiction they are like the big brothers or the big sisters yes. to the local council courts they oversee them yes. so where are this you where are you not comfortable with these decisions you can take them up to just like in a home yes. if you're trying to sort out things as siblings and they do not work out you will carry it either to the mother and the father yes. and the, or the guardian, yeah. or the guardian and they sort it out so yes okay thank you so much for that elaborate explanation We'll take a commercial break and we'll actually...